Hi everyone, it's Jeff here from Avada. In this series of videos, we're looking at how to use the Avada Builder elements. Today, we're looking at how to use the testimonial element. As the name makes clear, this element can be used to display testimonials from clients on your website. It's versatile and attractive and very easy to use. Make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel to keep up with all the latest videos like this one. And if you don't want to miss one, click the bell icon to get notifications of all new videos on our channel. OK, let's begin. I've imported the Avada Gym pre-built website here. And on the home page, there are some testimonials down the page a bit. These were set up manually, which is always an option. But for this video, I'm going to replace these four individual testimonials with a single instance of the testimonials element. So I'll add a column here. I think a three-fifths column will be good. And in the container, I'll set the column justification to center. I'll just use the information from the manual testimonials to copy into my element, and then I'll delete them. OK, let's add the testimonials element. As we can see, this is a parent and child element. You can have one or many children, so there are a lot of ways to set this up. Let's start with the content. I'll just edit the existing child item here, and copy the name from the first testimonial into here. The next option is for an avatar. You can choose none, a man or woman icon, or you can use an image, which is what I'm going to do. So when I select that, I get to choose my custom avatar. I'll just select that from the media library. OK, that's Tara here, and I can see this image is 150 pixels. OK, the next option is avatar size. I think I will make this 150 pixels to match the image. Under this is an option called avatar border radius. With this, you can control the shape of the image. I can add a pixel value to round off the corners, like 20 pixels which looks pretty good. Or I could add 50% or round to make an ellipse. If the image is square like this, the ellipse will be a circle. Yeah, I think I like that. OK, the next option is company. If you don't want to add a company name, you can add anything you like or nothing in here. It displays after the name. For my example, I might add how long they have been a member. So here I will add member for three years. An option called link is under this. And this typically links the company name to their website. But because we are using that field in a different way, I will leave that empty. If you do add a link here, then a link target option displays to choose how the link opens. OK, without that, the next option is the testimonial content. Again, I'll just copy and paste this into this field. I think I'll just paste it as plain text to make sure I don't add any formatting. OK, alignment is next, and this is only applicable to the classic style which we are currently using, but I think I will change styles anyway, so I will leave this. Finally, there's an option here for a background icon. This allows you to add the classic quotation icon at either the left or right of the testimonial text. For that matter, you can use any icon you want. But I think the quotation icon looks good here, so I'll use that. OK, now we have our first testimonial complete. It makes much more sense to duplicate this and edit the content for the next view. That way, you only need to change out the name, an image, and actual testimonial, unless, of course, you want them to be different from each other. So in my case, I'll duplicate this three times, and I'll just go and add the other info into these child items and come back. OK, so now I have the four child items in the element, and I have deleted the old testimonial columns that were below. Now it's time to configure and style this element. Let's start with the General tab. As we can see, the first option here is Design. There are two styles with this element, Classic and Clean, and they are quite different. Classic is the default style, and we can see that here. But for this example, I'm going to use Clean. That centers everything, and I think that looks really good. The next option is Navigation Bullets. You can show or hide these, but I want to show them, so I'll just change that. Now there's Testimonial Speed. This controls the length of time in milliseconds that a testimonial is on screen before it automatically rotates to the next one. If you have a lot of testimonials in the one element, then this will work best if they are all relatively the same length. Random order is the next option, and here the default is no, and I'm happy with that. But if you had a lot of testimonials in the one element, random would probably work really well. There's an option for margin next, which I don't think I need for this example, but these are margins around the element as a whole. Finally on this tab, there's the ubiquitous element visibility option, and the CSS class and CSS ID fields. I don't need to use them here, so let's move to the Design tab, where we can further style this element. 
Okay, there are lots of styling options here and of course it will depend on your situation. Here I have a container with a dark background already so I'd like to make these testimonials pop out a bit. The first option is testimonial background colour. Here I think I will set this to colour 8. That's perhaps a little bit dark for my taste so I'll just go into the global colour options and add minus 50 into the alpha channel to bring that down a bit. Yeah, perfect. Then there's the testimonial border size option. I want to add a border to my testimonials here, so I'm going to add 5 pixels all around. Testimonial border style comes next and here I will choose the dashed style. And for the colour, in the next option I will choose colour 4. The final border option controls the border radius, and here I might round the corners off a bit with 10 pixels all around. Just a note here that if you use the classic style, at this point you will see an option for the testimonial speech bubble style and you can show or hide that as you wish. But when using the clean style, this option doesn't apply. OK, so now comes typography. First up are typography and colour options for the actual typography text. Here I think I will choose the subheadings global set, and I think the default colour is fine. With the name and company typography, I will select the lead global set, and again I think the default colour is fine. OK, the penultimate option is the navigation bullet size, the default is 12, but here I think I will increase that a bit, to say 16. And I might also adjust the final option as well, and set the navigation bullet colour to colour 4. I might make one final adjustment here and change the column from 3 fifths back to 1 half. Yeah, I think that looks slightly better. Alright, let's just go into preview and have a look at our finished element. That looks great. There are so many ways to use this element. And with all the styling options available, you can basically get them to look however you want. Try it out. OK, this concludes our video on how to use the testimonial element. Make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel to keep up with all the latest videos. And if you have any questions or need assistance, please create a support ticket and our team will gladly assist you. As always, we want to thank you for choosing Avada.